Hello, lovers. It gives me a great, and I mean like ridiculously great amount of joy to be making this video after going through so much in this YouTube channel and sharing a lot with you guys to get to a place in my life where I really feel settled and accomplished and just proud of myself uh, to talk about how YouTube really did take me from earning next to nothing, well, let's be honest, negative nothing, to a healthy six-figure income. And in order to explain exactly how I did that, I'm gonna go through my entire week with you to let you know at this point in my life how I structure working for myself, by myself. I do have a job right now, but that's only one day a week, but still. So I'm gonna take you through a pretty slow, general week of mine, not a lot of going out, just really the weeks that I'm by myself, focused, and really hammering away at my dream. Now, speaking of hammering, you got to hammer with a tool. And this is a tool I want to share with you guys. This video is brought to you in partnership with Da -da! This is called the Chromebook. It essentially is like a very big smartphone. Um, you can download all the apps that you can through the Google Play Store. It allows you to have a bunch of really cool stuff at your fingertips, but further than that, with a keyboard. I'm a computer person. I need like, I love my phone and it gets really great, but when it really comes to working and being productive, I find it a bit distracting. Plus on top of that, I'm not as fast as I could be if I was on more of a solid surface. So without further ado, here is exactly how I have come to be a successful YouTuber and how I structure my week. Let's kick things off with Sunday. And Sunday is an important day to me because it's my day of preparation. I've been doing a one-on-one -on -one Skype counseling service. I mostly work with you guys, people who watch me on YouTube or social media. Listening to you, your expertise, and your life experience allows me to go back out there in the world and share relevant experience and as well as continue to learn because once a week someone brings something up I've never heard before and then I have to dive into my books, which brings me to the other thing that I do. I spend Sundays reading. So Google Chromebook has this program called Evernote. Y'all, Evernote is like the spot for any self-starting creative. You can basically organize different notebooks. So think of it like an agenda. You can also put audio notes. You can put images. You can attach attachments to it. You can put PDFs in there. So when I'm reading books, oftentimes I come across a really dope quote. I take a picture of that thing or I type it out myself. And that way I have a library of different materials I can reference at any given time. I also use Evernote to work with my speech therapist. I have a speech impediment, I talk quick, I sometimes drop the ends of words, I tend to stutter, and as a result of that, I hired a speech therapist, and instead of me having to go into the office, which would cost extra money, I'm able to Evernote just record our session. She gives me an exercise, I work in it at home by myself, I save it there so I can track my progress, and then I ship off the session to her. Let's move on to Make It Happen Mondays. It's my morning for emails, for calendars, for scheduling, it's the time that I'm like most likely to get back to you. And so if I don't have my Monday, at least for two hours quietly on my patio to myself organizing, I feel like the rest of the week, I'm like no good to anybody. So after I do that on Mondays, then it's time to like get cute and stuff. So I take up my Chromebook, put it in the bathroom, find another YouTube tutorial video, I watch that and then I get ready. After that, it's really about content. Content, 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 content. Can I make videos? Can I take pictures for Instagram? Do I have a brand deal coming up? So I try and spend that day creating as much content as possible. What's really cool about the Chromebook, which has allowed me to cut steps in between, is it has Instagram and Lightroom right on there. So instead of before me having to like take pictures on my camera and then ship it onto my computer and then edit on my computer and then email it to my phone and then upload it to Instagram, I get to do that all in like one really convenient space. So I edit, post, caption, tag, all at one time and then I move on with my day. So thank you for that, That's that's been helpful. Tuesday is about the to-do list. It's my take care of business day. I pretty much stay makeup -less and in sweats all day long. I spend most of the day in BO on my computer just editing videos, editing content. Tuesday is also the day that I handle my merchandising. For me, I really wanna sell things that I feel personally connected to and when I ship them to you, I want it to have a personal touch. If I take a break from editing, which is around 
around midday or so to work out. I use this program called Beachbody because I'm not really like a personal trainer status yet. It's a way of making sure I'm doing a different workout every single day. And it's like, you can only get this app on your smartphone, which used to be so annoying for me because I had to go to the gym or like try to work out with this small screen. And it's really hard to follow along when like you cannot see what they're doing. So after I edit a video, hopefully finish it, and then I work out, Usually this is around the time that my makeup or breakup show on Facebook starts to send me materials. Now Thursday is the day that we tape live, but since Tuesday, I start talking about and working on the episode. So Tuesday's a day, they send me all of the clips to watch. So I download the clips to my VLC player, that way I have them on my computer so I can reference them at any time. And then I watch them thoroughly. And then I use this program that, yo, has made a big difference for me. Cause I used to be a big pen and paper person and you'd lose that sometimes or it's hard to pass on to somebody but there is this program called Squid and Squid essentially allows you to mark up PDFs. You can circle stuff if you want to, you can type on it, you can highlight away. And on top of that, it allows me to store all of my scripts and all my different drafts in the same place. Wednesday tends to be a crazy packed day. Usually on Wednesdays, I'm shooting those shorts for full screen. So I go down to their office, which is really fortunate because it's hella far from my house, but I have to go to rehearsal for Facebook to do a table read where I bring up my script, my updated information, and we all sit around a room of like 20 people and really talk about how do we bring the best out of the show? What are the most provocative and interesting questions? Thursday, I already made that video, a literal dream come true. And Thursdays are always a dream come true. It's a day that I go to studio and I get to live out my dream, what I moved to LA for, which is to tell the story of intimacy on a really, really broad and powerful scale with awesome people behind me who share the same passion and message that I do. I'm gonna give a little secret to you guys. So I pre-download all of my previous episodes and I close the door and I sit in my change room and I watch old episodes of myself before I go on stage. It's my ritual, it's a weird thing, but here's why. Because of the fact that I have insecurities with my speech, there is sociologically. So for that reason, it's really encouraging for me to watch previous episodes and remind myself it all comes together. Yes, there's some hiccups, there's always some hiccups. There is always some hiccups. I just, it gets done and I do a good job and it's something to be proud of. The Squid app also is clutch. You guys, if anybody's ever come to set before, you know this, I'll have my laptop open like even minutes before because I'm reviewing things quickly. I'm somebody who needs to write things down like in order for me to retain information. Even like five minutes before showtime, I'll have my laptop out, I'll just be writing last minute notes. Sometimes even after the show wraps, if I wanna really remember something that I did wrong, I wanna fix for next week, I pop open my computer quickly and just put in some last minute notes onto that same script. That way that one document, that one file is like a diary. It's like a progress report of how I did that week. Friday is meetings and interviews. That's a really big part of the career that I've chosen for myself is connecting with others and connecting with potential opportunities. I spent a lot of time going on meetings, spending my gas money, spending my parking money on things that never really come to fruition, but you never know when meeting that one person's gonna have that light bulb effect. But it's a part of the business and love it or hate it, you gotta do it. And when you do go, one of the things that I've learned is that you really wanna make your time memorable and yet Yes, having that eye contact and that connection is important, but when you can attach visuals to that, it makes a big difference. So I do bring, I'm one of those people who brings in little presentations or PDFs, um, or I make them watch some videos of mine while I'm in the meeting. So while I'm referencing things, I can pull stuff up and that way I'm more memorable and more likely to secure a future opportunity. So Fridays are about hustling, grinding, and self-promoting. And finally, Saturday. Saturday is the day I don't want to hear from you and not you in particular. I mean like the world. I just want to chill, relax, recharge. It's a time for me to clean my apartment, to make my favorite meals, to put on Spotify and play my favorite music. That one that like makes me want to do like all my feel good dance moves. It's just my day to reconnect with myself and the people that I love. I might do something fun, like some kind of outing, whether that be a hike or some activity. Um, Saturday, I very rarely want to do anything to do with work. Right now on Netflix, for example, I'm watching She's Gotta Have It, which I guess kind of low key is work for me. It's a little bit of research, but it's, it's a lot of fun in between there. So yeah, it's a, it's a work day, cheat day. 
So that's it. That's seven days of Shan Booty. I know this wasn't the traditional how to make six figures on YouTube video where they give you three easy steps or four kinds of videos that you should make. Um, that's not my story though. And I think there's a lot of videos out there that tell that story. My story has been less about work hacks and more about work ethic. I dedicate myself to my passion, which is intimacy. I don't make six figures from YouTube, but I definitely make six figures because of the platform and the freedom of YouTube. So thank you, YouTube. It's a long winded thank you, but thank you. Speaking of thank yous, I've got to shout out the Chromebook once again. This again, y'all, it's very inexpensive. I was shocked at how inexpensive this computer is. And again, it's like a smartphone that you can use as a computer. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Chromebook and the different kind of apps you can use to make your life more diverse and more organized and hopefully more lucrative, go in the info box below and find all the links that you possibly can for it um, and check it out. It's definitely, it's definitely worth a gander. There's a short paragraph that I want to share with you all that I wrote and dedicate to you. To anybody who has put in the work but hasn't gotten the payoff, See past the disappointment and keep working at whatever is in your control. To anybody whose social media numbers aren't growing along with your skills, see past that. Just because the crowd isn't there doesn't mean the right people aren't cheering. To anyone who feels like the people who could help me don't, so why would a stranger? Know that my greatest wins came because a perfect stranger thought I was perfect. When your sole focus is being prepared and knowing your craft, you'll eventually realize that everything and everyone else that seems so crucial really isn't. People can deny you respect and opportunities, but no one person or failure can erase your preparation. I get it, girl. Oh, yeah, I get it, girl. Yeah, I get it, girl. Oh, and if you don't know, get it, girl. Oh, yeah, get it, girl. Ain't life 